Hi boys and girls, it's time for Writer's Workshop. Today we're going to be um, reviewing what is an opinion. Do you remember this page from yesterday? Great, let's review it. What is an opinion? When you give your opinion, you are telling others what you think or how you feel about something. Now in opinion writing, you need to think, decide, and explain your opinion. Here's an example. I like green apples because they are sour. Now I'm going to give you an example of an opinion writing. This paper says, what would you like to eat for a snack? An apple or a donut? Hmm. So I'm thinking and I'm deciding that I would like to have a donut for a snack. So I'm circling the donut. Now it's time for me to start my writing. As I get ready to start my writing, I want to make sure that on my fix it up checklist that I'm focusing on, I can add blends and digraphs to my writing. So I want to think of words that start with blends and digraphs that I can add to my writing as I write about this donut. Now let's look here. For, um, we have this little excerpt, and I know that you probably have this benchmark lesson with your teacher, but I wanted to review a few important points from it. This first sentence about dogs says, dogs make good pets. That's an opinion statement. So I need to come up with my statement about the donut. I would like to eat a donut with icing. Mm. Now, let's look back at our little book. Dogs make good pets. They love to play and fetch balls. Dogs are very smart. The second two sentences were reasons why I thought that dogs, why they thought dogs made good pets, that they love to play and fetch balls and dogs are very smart. So I need to think of a reason of why a donut would be a good sn snack. So, so far I have my opinion statement. I would like to eat a donut with icing. Hmm. Donuts are good. Okay, so that's my reason. Donuts are good. Now, boys and girls, it's time for you to do some writing. Now you're not going to be writing about an apple or a donut. You are going to get ready to write about a lion and a, or a fish. What would you like to have as a pet? A lion or a fish? So you're going to be getting a pencil. You're going to get this paper and you're going to get your fix it up checklist. Um, and then you can get started writing about what you would you like to have as a pet. Now you might not finish all of your writing today because we had this little mini lesson before you got started. But that's okay because your teacher may, may give you more time tomorrow to finish your writing. So I cannot wait to see what you choose and what your opinion is about what you would like to have as a pet. 